Hey everyone, it's Ray here. I'm doing a movie reflection. I was asked by a mate of mine, Tristan, to give him my thoughts about the movie Kick-Ass. Now, I just came out of the cinema and I just watched it just then. I just wanted to provide you guys with my reflections on what I thought of the film. Now, for those of you watching and who haven't seen it, um, there'll be spoilers here. Now, the first issue I want to talk about is the stylized violence and the fact that it's justified by a little 11 year old girl. I, I get the whole appeal that everyone has with these revenge kind of movies. It kind of likens itself to Kill Bill 1. I don't know, it even feels a bit more justified by the fact that it's a little 11 year old minor. It kind of sends a really negative message to people out there that, you know, revenge is okay because it's a little 11 year old girl killing all the bad guys. If you want the best example of an attitude to revenge, Go watch Passion of the Christ. I mean, come on. Jesus could have mowed down all those Roman soldiers if he really wanted to, but yet the correct attitude was to take it, you know, as he did. And there's a lot of blood and gore in that film too. So I suggest you go watch it and probably even read the story about it in, you know, the book when I read. And just another comment, in terms of all this stylized violence that you see um, and how the creators of these movies are trying to justify that this violence is okay um, as an act of revenge, man, if you want to see stylized violence that's, I guess, justified but more realistic, go watch The Pacific. That is an awesome miniseries watching our uh, diggers from way back when defending their country. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be living this way. The other part that I found a bit, uh, well, funny but distressing is the fact that um, she was able to swear so much and parallels to, you know, kids who are her age that are vulnerable. And I guess the appeal there is that this is, I guess, something shocking to see someone so young to be able to act so adult at the same time. I mean, the contrast would apply, would appeal to a lot of people, but I guess it sends a message out there that this kind of behavior is acceptable. Everyone knows that I'm not really a big fan of, you know, sex before marriage. The amount of uh, sex that I saw in this film was unbelievable. I um, found it a bit weird the way this ad this film was advertised. It looked like some sort of movie for younger audiences. However, when you see the amount of sexual content that's in there, the amount of swearing that's in there, I thought that's a bit misleading. So for parents out there who are having their kids go to watch this movie and you're probably the under age of 15, I advise to proceed with caution. What, just let them know that there's a strong, strong violent and swearing and sexual content in this film. I wasn't really feeling it the way all the way through. Uh, I found that the storyline seemed to be a bit predictable. I know that the ending, uh, especially when Red Mist and Kick-Ass were lying on the floor and then suddenly you see his eyes open, you knew he was going to save her. Uh, it was just, yeah, a bit predictable for me. You were caught off guard as to what weapons they were going to use and yeah, it was funny to watch. It was good to see the bad guy, you know, finally just, you know, um, cock it with the bazooka at the end. And again, the fact that they left it open for a sequel. But I will say though, the overall message of this movie, if I were to take something positive away from this, anyone could, if they really wanted to, you know, change who they are and not be stuck in their personality that they're in. This guy, as he was introduced at the beginning of the film as some average schmo, and you could see him at the end of the film being someone who saves the day. And um, although he didn't have any martial art abilities like Hit Girl did, he was still able to save the day and cop a lot of beating for it as well. That's really something. So for the, the movie itself, although I don't condone the violence, the swearing, the sex, um, the message that I got from the film being that you can be whoever you want to be, even a superhero. Yeah, I buy that, um, but I'd rather watch another movie that would make me feel that way rather than this one. Um, I only really watched this film out of curiosity because everyone I know seemed to say that it was the best film they've ever seen. Um, I know my friend Tristan here, who's asked me to do this, told me it's the best gangster film he's ever seen. And yes, you know, I understand these gangster films can all really 
Um, you know. <laughs> okay, other positive observations. I'm not quite sure if they're positive, but other observations I'd like to make um, is the death scene of um, of Big Daddy. I'm gonna say that's one of the most original death scenes of a character I've seen in one of these superhero movies. Um, him being burnt and roasted to death um, and then dying um, like that. Um, quite original. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the movie. Well, I look forward to speaking to you on my other vlogs. Alright, peace, take care, God bless.